So I want to do a video on this EG4 12,000 BTU direct solar hybrid mini split. I have a video out there that I did a, a, over a year ago about um, run your window AC with just two solar panels. And I get a lot of questions on that. And for a lot of people, this would be a great fit over that little setup. That's set up for that window AC with just two solar panels was a basic explanation of how to use solar to run a air conditioner. This is a hybrid unit that you can run during the day and connect like four 400 watt mono solar panels. And right now I actually have 12 100 watt grape solar panels connected to this. This thing when it's running during the day, I can have it run at less than 600 watts during the day using the grid limiter mode. And this thing will cool. This garage is um, 550, 600 square feet. It'll keep this garage nice and cool at that blowing out. And I'll even have that set on turbo. <laughs> and it does a great job keeping the garage cool that large of an area but you can run this thing it's so much more efficient at nighttime i could put this thing on economy mode even out in my garage and it when i've done that it uses less than 200 watts last time i did it was an average of 150 watts an hour to run that now if i run one of my other mini splits it's going to be 1200 watts an hour so this is like eight times less amount of power you need to run this thing. And it does almost the same exact thing as that using 1200 watts. So pretty insanely efficient. You can run this thing with, like I said, just like it's 1700 watts of solar or less. And, you know, it'd be between 1200 and 1700 watts, somewhere in there. I have 12 100 watt solar panels connected in series. So you wanna stay above 90 volts DC solar panel input. Um, and I think it's below 380 on the voltage. And you wanna stay right below around 18 amps coming in from your solar panel. So those grape solar panels work great. The other thing is I have it plugged into an outlet using a 12 gauge extension cord. So if, there's clouds or something it'll actually make up the difference with the grid but this isn't actually my grid it's actually my off-grid solar system so i'm not even using the grid on that it just pulls from my off-grid solar but this thing is so much efficient right now i have the other one running next to it that's an 18,000 btu that's not hybrid or anything that thing will use about 2600 to 3000 watts <laughs> when this is running this does almost as good of a job and it can use only 600 watts or less. And a lot of times it's four to 500 watts when it's actually on the limiter. And when it's on economy mode, it's under 200 watts. So it's extremely efficient compared to this. I highly recommend these over the other ones. And I'll show you um, the other units that I have here. I mean, the other units were less expensive but they're gonna be a lot more expensive to run than uh, that EG4 hybrid. Now this is an AUX 12,000 BTU, it's the same thing, but this is gonna use around 11, 1200 watts when it's on running, as where when that thing EG4 is running, it's only using, like right now, it's probably using about 380 watts, and it's cooling as well as this would. Now this, is a premium, same thing. Now, this was like 650 bucks, but it's gonna use around uh, 1,100, 1,200 watts when it's running. So, although they're a lot more efficient, now if I have these two mini splits running and that's 2,400 watts, and I were to run my 4,000 BTU main air conditioner, downstairs air conditioner, that thing would use like 4,000 watts. So I'm still only using half. There's the four ton. 
So, I mean, those two mini splits would only use 2,000 watts. This would use around 4,000 watts. So I'm still saving 50% by using those mini splits. But when you're using an EG4, it's insanely more efficient than these. There's the um, premium one, and there's an aux one. So the premium's a little bit better. Premium will actually go up to the second floor. Um, but when I tried using the aux to do that, it didn't have the head pressure and the compressor to do it. So I had to get a premium, which I ran up there, and it works fine upstairs. Now, right now, I'm using those 12... 100 watt grape solar panels just mounted flat on the wall at a 90 degree angle to run that eg4 hybrid mini split 12,000 btu in the garage these are all in series so they all go in series and then the wire i just ran it temporarily right here just ran it temporarily now i could connect these are 330 watt panels i could connect four of those in series and it'd be able to do the same thing as those 12 in series. So same thing up here. These are bifacial 400 watt to 500 watt bifacial solar panels, circuitry on the uh, backside. I could connect four of those in series and be able to run that mini split. These are poly panels. These are 250 watts. I'd probably have to use six of these, um, which would give me 1500 watts. And I could run that EG4 mini split during the day just off of the solar um, and nothing else. Now, these are 250 watt mono panels. I could use five or six of those for 1500 watts. Same thing in series. And these are mono panels, just different. These are solid black, pretty much, as where you can see, you can see the kind of the, the cells on this one. So. I could use six of these or six of these. Actually, this shed right here has six panels on it. I could take this and connect it to that EG4 mini split outside unit, and I'm good. 400 watt used solar panels, I could use those. And right here is the outside unit of that mini split. There's the 18,000 BTU. You can tell it's a little bit bigger, but that thing's gonna use like 2,600 to 3,200 watts. And this is only going to use, you know, um, it's you can put it on the limiter where it's only going to use 600 watts or less. But usually when it's on there, it's about 360, 380 at the most that it usually runs. And it blows out like 45 to 50 degree air. And it's on turbo. So insanely efficient. And over here we have, there's another one of those... Um, premium units that's for the living room that's going to use 1200 watts while it's running there's my dog that doesn't use any watts but i just wanted to kind of give you a little idea on that uh eg4 12,000 btu hybrid mini split it is just insanely efficient compared to these regular mini splits, like I said, you know, this, this was like about this, right now it'd be about 500 bucks to buy one of these. So they're a lot cheaper, but they're not as efficient. So that's a 16 sear as where I believe this EG4 is a 22.8 sear on here. So it's much higher efficiency. That's why you can run it at a lower watt to power this thing. And I'm just so impressed with this and how efficient it is and how cold it keeps my garage just running it by itself. Um, I run this one because when I have to go pull the car out of the garage and then come back in when it's 100 degrees outside, this keeps it nice and co cools that garage or that car down really quick. But run that during the day with just solar and i always keep this plugged in this is plugged into my solar outlets but there's a grid outlet right there i could plug it into that 
that's just in case there's not enough, there's some clouds or something, or it starts raining or something. It'll make up the difference of what it's not bringing in on solar with the grid power. But right now it's running for free because it's plugged into the solar, off-grid solar. So I'm not using any grid power at all to run that thing. Anyways, just want to do a video on that because a lot of people are asking about that. Run your window AC, 5000 BTU window AC with just two solar panels. And I wanted to show you the difference on this. This will do five to 600 square feet. That um, window AC is 5,000 BTU. That might do like a 10 by 10 room, but it's either on or it's off and it's cold or it's hot. I mean, you don't get the, um, the I don't know, the efficiency of the way it cools the room down. Um, as well as you do with one of these um, inverter mini splits. So, you might want to take a look at these. I'll leave a coupon code in there, uh, in the description, for $50 off of any purchase over $500 at uh, Signature Solar. So, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See you in the next video, and hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2025.